Today is a good day in the Wells Williams household. Why? So, today is wardrobe day. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We are eagerly awaiting our wardrobes to arrive. We're getting our wardrobes from Ikea. Now just waiting for them to arrive. And we're gonna share with you the process of building these Ikea wardrobes. And it might be a bit stressful, but it's gonna be fine. Yeah, because I have thought we're gonna have to find those document papers because we're gonna have to figure out which box is for which yes. wardrobe. Yes. Because yours were slightly... Different to mine. To yours. Either they were shorter or wider than mine. Slightly, yeah. So we're going to have to figure out which one's which because all the shelves and all the drawers are going to be a different... Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> right, so I will leave you until they get here because now it's just the waiting game, isn't it? Yeah, they now are apparently the three stops away from us. So we're just going to wait and chill. What are you doing right now? I am watching The Missing. The Missing on Disney? Britbox. Uh, Britbox. Britbox. Yeah, three. Well, you can't see, but... <laughs> three away. Amazing. All right, we will see you when it gets here. See ya! Oh my God, no, he's going the wrong way. He's leaving. Jack! <laughs> Trying not to stress. He's coming, he's coming! Doorbell. Yeah. Because that's a 201. Oh no, that's the height, sorry. So that's 50 by 58. Can you go and check what these two are? The stickers are on that end. Mm -hmm. Connor, how have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's right. Because that would be two for you and three for me. That sounds about right. Okay. I need a wee. All right, so it all finally arrived. It's all here in loads of different piles. Um, it's very dark. I'll move into a bit more light here. There we go. So the plan is now we are going to. Seeing that the wardrobes need to go into bedrooms, and we've been living in our bedrooms for the past over a year now. We've got all, the, all of our stuff, like our chest of drawers, obviously the bed. The bed doesn't really need to move, but everything else needs to be shifted out somewhere else. So what I need to do is I need to make space in my office to put the stuff in currently. We'll go do that, and then we will catch up with you in a sec. Bye. All right, so. That's dark. What? All right, so. We have... <laughs> Jack does this thing when he's filming where he goes, Rachel, be ready, we're gonna film, smile. And then he walks away from me like 10 seconds later. I like to pace. Doesn't like me. I like to pace when I walk, I'll when I talk. Create space upstairs and now we are just separating the two wardrobes because I've got a wardrobe, Rachel's got a wardrobe. So we're just separating all the components from my wardrobe in here because we're doing mine second. And we're doing the bosses first. We are moving all of my wardrobe stuff into the kitchen just to create space so we can move all of Rachel's stuff upstairs and build her wardrobe. Sound good? Yeah. 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 Let's do that. All right, we have gotten everything up. And my hair is an absolute state. That's where's mine. So what we're doing is we're taking one box into the room at a time because we've not got space for everything in here at once. And we're building it one section at a time. Yeah. It's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long, 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 long day. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up the camera over yonder. Yeah, so I'm just going to flip it into gold fashion time lapse mode. Let's get to it. Woohoo! I match. I blend.
The first one is pretty much done. All we need to do is a very repetitive task, which is just hammering in the back, and then we've got the first section of our first wardrobe. Done! Woohoo! What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hand it over to Rach, and she's gonna tell you the story of how we're getting this wardrobe and all of that lovely stuff, while I just do this very boring, repetitive task, because Rachel's better at telling the story than I am. So I'm gonna hand you over to Rach. Okay. Oh, I've moved us downstairs because... Anyway, we were deciding whether we were gonna give the full story to the internet <laughs> about what happened, but we thought we would because we think we should be honest and we think that people should know and should have all the information because we did not have all the information when we ordered our wardrobes. So, you can hear Jack banging. <laughs> um, we ordered our wardrobes on the 22nd of August. We were gonna order them at the beginning of August, but we didn't. Um, and we decided that we would go with the packed units. So we went into Ikea and we said, look, we can't order anything because one set of the doors that we want and a lot of the rails and stuff aren't available. And she went, well, we're back in order on the 22nd, so put the order in then, and they'll be with you in two weeks. I was like, oh, great. So we ordered it. We then got given a delivery date of the 11th of September. So that was more than the two weeks that she'd said. But that was fine. Like, we thought, okay, you know, it's quite a lot of people are moving at the moment. Like, that's fine. We'll go with it. September the 11th comes round, and we had deliberately not made plans to do anything that weekend because... Obviously we knew the wardrobes were coming, we knew it was gonna take a while to build them. You get like sent like a, an, a time slot. We got sent the time slot the day before and then you normally get given like an hour by hour tracking link and that never arrived. And then it got to past the four hour time slot that we'd been given and we'd still not heard anything. So I rang Ikea and just was like, look, what's happening? And I mean, bearing in mind, I was on hold for nearly an hour um, and they said, oh, I'm really sorry. Our communication system is down at the moment. So we haven't been able to notify you that your wardrobes weren't coming, but you've been put on a back order. And I was like, well, you've got my phone number. Why haven't you contacted me? To be fair, the lady I spoke to was really lovely. She was like, It'll, um, we've reordered it all for you for the 16th. There's one set of rails that can't arrive, that, that aren't in stock, but they should be in stock the week before. So if you ring the week before, they can add it to your order and then that can arrive. So I was like, right, okay. So the next date we were given was the 16th of October, which was over a month from when they were originally supposed to come and nearly two months since we'd actually ordered them. So then I rang the week before to try and order these extra rails and they said, oh no, you can't do that. I don't know why you've been told that you can. We can't amend orders once they're being processed. I was like, well, I've been told I can. And they said, well, we, we, there's nothing we can do about it. I was like, right, okay. So we've got, we've both got a basket, like pull out tray thing that um, won't be able to function properly because we haven't got the rails for it. But that's fine. It's only one thing out of everything. Bearing in mind, we're still both got one door, mirrored door, not, not in, this package at all because they don't, they're not in stock. So it then, the following Tuesday, so the Tuesday of the week they're supposed to arrive, I get an email saying, really sorry, but your order has been delayed again and been put on a back order. Your new delivery date will be the 28th. Bearing in mind, I'm, this is very grateful. We're very, you know, we're very lucky that me having half term and Jack took the week off work, it meant that we were able to do something. The reason why we'd always chosen weekends was because we can't do weekday deliveries. So anyway, so we were like, right, okay. So I rang and I was, I'm not normally that person that complains to customer service about things because I've worked in customer service, I know what it's like. You know, it's not a nice thing, but I was very fed up with all of this by this point because I honestly cannot understand why when you order something, it says, fully available, but then when they come to deliver it, the day of delivery, they don't have it in stock. That does not make any sense to me. I don't know if it maybe makes sense to somebody out there, but it does not make any sense to me. Um, so I was getting very cross with this man. The other two people I'd spoken to the two other times, they were brilliant, I cannot fault them. This guy I spoke to was really patronizing, really obnoxious, and to be honest, couldn't really understand why I was cross. And I was saying, I'm not cross that something's been delayed. I'm cross that you're not communicating with me. And I'm cross that this is the third time this has happened. And I was assured the last time that we would be top priority. It makes me feel, well, somebody else has got my wardrobe. So why are they a higher priority than me? And it's very frustrating because I've paid you a lot of money for the service that you said you would provide me with and I don't have anything to show for it. And they charge you 40 pounds delivery for Ikea. And with wardrobes, you can't, I can't really put it in the back of my car. I mean, we've got a, we've got a Vauxhall Adam, it's tiny. <laughs> like, you can, we can barely fit in there, let alone a full wardrobe. So I, yeah, so I was very cross with him and he was like, well, I can't really do a lot about it apart from just reassure you that your delivery should arrive on the 28th of October. I was like, well, that's not really very good enough. Can I talk to someone higher up, please? Um, and he said, well, um, 
you'd basically get told exactly the same thing. And I'm like, I've used that line myself. I know that's not true. That's just your way of fobbing me off. But anyway, so he wouldn't let me talk to anybody else. Um, so I said, right, well, I'm assuming my 40 pound delivery charge will be taken off. And he went, no, because it will still be delivered at some point. I was like, so three months down the line on two failed delivery attempts, you're still saying that you're going to charge me for delivery, even though you are the one that's not managing to fulfill my, my order. And he's like, yes. He's like, I can give you a 70 pound gift card. And I was like, whilst that's great, you know, 70 pounds to spend in Ikea, it's fantastic. But that doesn't make up for the fact that I don't have my product. <laughs> I know I sound like such a whiny Karen. Oh, I'm not meaning to. I just, it's been very, very frustrating. Anyway, so they're here now. Thank goodness. Um, but we were very cross for a while. I'm just, it's just frustrating when you're not given a reason as to why something's happening. That's what frustrates me. But they're here. But yeah, I think... I think a cup of tea is the way forward. So, tea and biscuits. Let's go take a picture. So we've already come into our first hiccup. We forgot to put, if I can get it out, these bits in one side of it before putting the back in. Oh, so, issues. Uh, we've got the first one done. So now, just to stop, it from being a very long video, I'm gonna stop recording here, I'm gonna pause the recording, and then I'm gonna update you once we get Rachel's wardrobe finished. So, yeah. I'll see you on the other side of that. Bye. Okay, so who knew, oh, hold on. Echo, mute. Sorry if I've just set everybody else's off. So, who knew that Ikea required you to um, need a drill and clamps? Since when? I thought the whole point of Ikea was that it was easy DIY, not, oh, but you'll also need this. Um, so yes, yeah, so we've had to go out and buy by clamps because we needed to fix these together. Like this. Uh, so that they stay together. Um, so Jack's doing the big scary drill thing and I'm doing the woohoo supportive thing from the corner. And I have the screws in my pocket. <laughs> Alright, so, um, hair is an absolute state, but we've got the doors on! Woohoo! We've got the doors on, and as you can see, we've started to put some drawers in as well, and... We have had a slight tantrum. Just a slight one. Um, we are, we've got a little bit of a system going. So we've got Rachel building the drawers here, and then I'm putting the rails in at the same time, and then putting the draw on the rails while Rach starts to build the next one. So we've got that system going, and what I might do now, I might time lapse us finishing putting these drawers in and maybe putting the shelves in. Disclaimer, if I have a tantrum, <laughs> it's 100% my fault. <laughs> All right, so I will switch over to my GoPro and we will do that. So yeah, oh see on the other side of this time lapse. You good there, hun? My hair is just getting worse and worse through this video, isn't it? More like a mushroom. Um, we are very dark. I have to do. So, um, we've got all the drawers in now. Now it's time for us to put the shelves in now. Shelf, which, shelf. which looks complicated, and we were really hoping it would just be a slot in place. Job. Yeah, we thought it would be like the Billy Book cases where you just push something in and then it rests on top. However, it looks like we're going to need a bit more screwing. And we can do that, we've done a fair share of screwing today, but as you can see, it's starting to get a bit dark outside, it's starting to get a little bit late, and we've only getting close to finishing one of the bookcases, we've got another one to do after this. It's gonna be a late night, but yeah, so. Um, That's the thing about doing it on a half turn, though. We are going to be doing this, what am I saying? What am I saying? Shelves. Shel shelves. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here, and I will get back to you once we move on to my wardrobe, because you don't really want to be looking at us putting shelves up because that's not very interesting. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you in that room. <sighs> and we finally have two wardrobes. Time check? 12.28. What time did we start? Half 11. So what's that, like uh, 13, 13 hours. hours of just building wardrobes. We haven't even put our clothes in the wardrobes yet. But that's all I'm going to be talking about in this video. I'm not going to be stressing about 
telling you about how we're organizing our wardrobes. Terrible lighting to finish with, so I do apologize about that. But yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this video more than we've enjoyed making it. It's a stressful day. Yeah, out of it, we've got two wardrobes. So yeah, and I will see, I will just see you guys later on. Uh, yeah, catch you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> Bye.